Today is the eighth day of January 2018. I'm just thinking, when did we say Happy New Year? It's just like yesterday. And gradually the year is going. Before you know what is happening, we will be talking about December 2019. And soon we'll begin to look at the year 2020. How time flies. Let me tell you, our life is encoded in time. And that is why they call it lifetime. Time is important to us. A time wasted is a life wasted. When anybody wastes money, resources, or materials, it is very easy to get the money back or the resources or the material. But the time that is wasted can never be recovered. And that is why the Bible says, redeeming the time for the days are evil. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. This is the daily broadcast that the Lord sent me to, to uh, send me and, you know, empower me to send to you on a daily basis. Because in the book of Psalm 107, verse 20, the Bible says, He sent His word and He healed them and delivered them from their destruction. This word is sent to you in order to encourage you, to motivate you, and to inspire you. It is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the good news of God. It's extremely good news that, say, that sound to be too good to be true, and yet it is true. This morning the Lord has sent me to speak to you on wise management of your time. Your time is more important to you than anything. Let me tell you the fact that time is more important than material possession. Time is more important than money. You must engage in wisely using of your time. Because gradually before we know it, time has gone. I, I remember like yesterday when I was in primary school, then I was in secondary school, then God helped me to go to university. It's just like yesterday. When I look back, time moves very fast. No matter how old or young you are listening to the sound of my voice, time waits for no one. Make a very, very good use of your time. Spend your time doing things that you love, things that will advance the course of mankind, things that will bring joy to other people, things that will lift other people up. That is what you should engage your time in doing. When you engage your time in helping people, doing things that you love, things that will bring fulfillment to your life, things that will make other people to move forward and bless other people, surely you will be rewarded. Because before you know it, time flies. And at the end of our life, everyone at the deathbed always realize that what really matters is not the money they made. Because suddenly at that time they will realize that the money they have acquired cannot help them at that point of death. Then they will suddenly realize that some of the best thing they could have done is to care for somebody, love somebody, give to somebody, make somebody happy, make somebody, you know, to advance in life. Speak a word of encouragement. These are the things that really matter in the end. Because in the end, money is a material. And it is not spiritual. You cannot go with money. No matter how rich you are, they are not going to you know, pity you when you die and say, let's bury all the money with him. No, they are not going to do that. In fact, somebody is going to be happy. You are living that wealth. Hallelujah. And... Another person will spend all the money that you have labored to acquire in your lifetime. Hallelujah. So what am I saying this morning? God is sending me to tell you, to inspire you, to motivate you, to think about how to use your time wisely. A, a life time that is used or spent in helping people, promoting other people, bringing joy to other people, lifting other people up, giving material and financial substance to other people, this is a life that is well spent. Spend your time wisely, 
Because your time is your life. When you, when you remove the time out of the life of a man, that man is dead. It is the time that God gave us, you know, in the life of God that give us this expression. Hallelujah. So use your time wisely. Your time is very important to you. And how you use this time is important to God. Because God will ask you in the day to come, how did you spend your life time? And that is why the Bible says, redeeming the time for the days are evil. There are so many evil things in our world that wants to take your time away, that wants to waste your time. Many people are engaged in things that is really not going to matter to their eternity. Eternity means your life after you leave this world. You see, because our life does not end after our time on earth. But our time on earth is given to us to express ourselves in this physical world. But when we finish this time, when this time is ended, we will enter eternity. And what will matter is not the money we have made. What will matter is not the number of houses we have built. What will matter is not, you see, the, 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 how famous and popular we are when we were in this world. What will matter then will be what we did with our time. How many, how many people did we put smiles to their faces? How many people did we, you know, preach the gospel of Jesus to? How many people did we bring to Jesus Christ? How many people did we affect their lives for good? These are the things that will matter in the time when we enter into eternity. Think about it. Your time is precious. Time is going. Very soon you will die. And I will die. I don't know how soon. It could, be 20, it could be 20 years, 50 years, 70 years time. But that 70 years comes so quickly that you would not know time is going. By the time you know it, you are having gray air. And by the time you know it, you are already old. And time is gone. Think about using your time wisely. Spend your time for God. Go to church. Don't be too busy to go to church. Don't be too busy to read the Bible. This is a real thing. This is what you will take out of this life when your time is spent. Because your time will soon be spent. Think about it. The real thing that matters is what you do with your relationship with Jesus. I know somebody is hearing me. Thank you for hearing this. I'd like you to rebroadcast this. Get somebody blessed, and God will bless you for this. It is well with your soul. I really appreciate you hearing the sound of my voice. If you are hearing this on YouTube channel, please subscribe to our channel and pray, press that bell, you know, so that you will know when each messages are released on a daily basis. You'll be the first to hear. Thank you so much. If you got this on WhatsApp, somebody send this to you, and you want to be hearing this on a daily basis, just save my number. My number is plus 2774-0302-381. Save that number right now. Go to your WhatsApp and say, add me. And if you are hearing me, you don't like this message anymore. Maybe it's bothering you or something. Just let me know and I will remove your name from the list. But I believe it is blessing you and I believe it will continue to bless you. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. This is Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, Bethlehem, Free State, South Africa, signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.